In the last video, you began painting your bottles using just the basic rainbow colors from the color wheel. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then we tacked on one more red on the end. Now that put us one step closer to our finished project. And today, we're gonna get even closer. Today, you will be painting those in-between, those overlapping areas that are in between the bottles. So for example, where red overlaps with orange, right now you have a blank spot, and today we're gonna fill that with the intermediate color. And red plus orange would be red-orange. So stick around, find your supplies. You'll need the same ones you used last time, and let's get started. Like last time, you will be needing the special tray of watercolor paints that has them all lined up in color wheel order and labeled. You'll need water and a brush and probably a paper towel and of course your artwork. We are going to begin with the very first space and this is the empty space where I should say the white space in between the red bottle and the orange bottle. Now on your strip of paint it is right here. You're going to apply what you learned about color. You're going to find the red, you're going to find the orange, and you're going to look in between because that's where you know you will find red-orange. Now these intermediate colors are not labeled. That is up to you to locate and use the right color. So let's get started. Like before, Add some water, stir it up. Make sure you are using the right color every time. Some of these intermediate colors look very close to their neighbors. This one is red-orange. And just using my good painting techniques where I use the tip of my brush to stay inside the lines and I paint one direction to keep it looking tidy, I'm going to fill in those overlapping spaces. When you have finished one intermediate color, then go right to the next. Look to the left, this is orange, this is yellow. I know right here I'm gonna need yellow-orange. So I look down on my paint tray, I find orange, I find yellow, and right in the middle, right where it belongs, is yellow-orange. You do not have to do any mixing with these paints. We learned all of our color mixing, and now I'm trusting you to use the paints that are already prepared. I ordered these paints especially for this project. Plus, it'll help us to get done a lot faster if we don't have to make each of these colors ourselves. I'm ready to move right on down the line. This space right here is going to be yellow-green. Always, always remember, good painting technique. These spaces, these overlapping spaces are usually a little bit smaller, so you really have to use the tip of that brush to stay inside the lines. One direction will always make something look neat and tidy. I'm going to continue painting. I'm going to put blue-green here, and blue-violet here, and red-violet here. I'm not going to talk about these colors. I'm just going to get it done. You will find the color red-violet on the very, very end. It doesn't have a neighbor, but you know if these colors were in a circle, like on the color wheel, that this red would be right here. And so this color on the end, even though red is not its neighbor right this minute, this is red-violet. And there I have all seven of my bottles painted, all six of my intermediate colors painted. Now and you are ready to go on to the next QR code video.